Hello and welcome to the lecture uh, from the series uh, Graphic Design. Uh, learn Graphic Design and Learn Adobe Illustrator. Today I'm going to tell you about the effect panel and what it is about. So the first thing comes in the effect panel is 3D. So if I have uh, an object over here and if, I've, uh, if it's in a green color and I want to make it like 3D object, I can just go to 3D extrude and bevel and bring the preview. So you can see you just made this as a 3D object. If you increase the size from the extrude depth, you are just making a cube. You can just uh, rotate the dimensions over here, uh, the presentation and the angle and uh, perspective. Uh, you, you see, you, you can just uh, you're just watching this from an angle, uh, and you can just drag this around as well if you are good with this dragging options. So, this is not very complicated, so you can make it complicated like I did uh, with the perspective options. Uh, here, you got to a few more coloring options or the extrusion options. If I zoom it. Uh, press OK. If I zoom in, you can see I got one just jump in the or bump in the middle of it. So if I go, if I want to go back to the effect, uh, I can just go back to 3D and 3D extrude and bevel. It will apply a new effect on it. So it will be a really complicated uh, file. So don't go to don't go to the effect panel again. Just come to the appearance panel. And here you can see the 3D extrude and bevel option. You can just click and add it uh, from the point where you left it. So the complex is like this, or you can do this, and there are many more options. And these are good ones. So you can just practice this uh, to get a good shape. Uh, you can just type your name and get a 3D effect to that as well graphics is make sure the thing you are using is quite bold to get a good result it's blue i'll go to effect 3d extrude and bevel and get a preview now you just increase the size plastic shading to wireframe or any other and this will remove the caps the front layer and you can just bring this to a level where you can just see this okay and if I just give it one uh, point uh, layer for the outline I can I have to select this one first I can just a big difference to it so this is a good one, this is just uh, like the blending tool but it got much more features in it. So this was about the effect in 3D. Uh, the next thing, convert to shape is doesn't, uh, it's not that important, the crop marks is not important. The next thing is uh, distort and transform. So what I can get from distort and transform is I'll make uh, one polygon and I'll go to effect distort and transform and free distort you can just click and drag from here and you will get the shape okay so you got this shape so this is from free distort the next thing is pucker and blur this one is interesting i'll click the preview on if i click over here and increase the size you get this shape and if i decrease the size you get this shape this is pucker and bloat i've already discussed this but uh, that was not manual i will press ok and you got this shape you will have to expand this to get hold on it so this was pucker and bloat and you can get the pucker and bloat from here as well this is pucker tool this is bloat tool i'll go to pucker and click over here to make it like this so this one is much better and then the distort transform option gets into roughen 
so preview as I increase the size I increase this thing over here and uh, this is absolute and this is relative so this is about the points if I get it to smooth and absolute I get this kind of shapes so there is one more thing I can just make fur or feather or um, the hairs from this uh, roughen tool as well I will make a video about that as well so the next thing in the start and transform is transform and uh, the good thing in this is if I make one line so I just made one line over here I will decrease increase the size I'll go to effect distort and transform and transform so scale is an option move is an option and rotate is an option over here I'll pre make a preview so I just made on 10 and I can just select the the center point or the point to rotate so this is one I'll make copies I can just extend and I can make uh, some lines that I want so it is around 80 reflect axis in the y axis or more objects you can do from here so this is a transformation tool is good the next thing I'll bring back this polygon I'll go to effect distort and transform and tweak so this is horizontal this is vertical absolute and relative so we don't, we don't need this too, uh, too often so just uh, skip this one I'll go to twist this doesn't give a good result uh, here so you have to just press again this one so this is twisting the thing now you can see so this is what I got when I made it twist and another thing is uh, distort and transform is zigzag preview and make sure this is one increase the size increase from here relative and smooth so you got color splash over here you got three four see this is a good one good example made from a polygon with a zigzag and smooth option so this is a good tool these are the good options as well uh, from path I can do offset path what does off offset path means it will increase the size uh, from everywhere like if I uh, get this thing and I don't have the outline to it I just want one more shape uh, with this thing and in a little bit bigger size so what I can do I can just copy this thing control C control B paste it back I will change the color and I'll go to effect path and offset path I'll preview so now you can see you just got this this cannot be done with the outline you just I think you just got some uh, uh, thing in mind that you can do this in outline I will just make sure this round this bevel and meter so 20 points and if I just bring it here, control C, control, or oh, it doesn't have to be. So if I do go to 20%, so this is the difference between an outline and the offset path. If I choose middle or outside, we got some same result in the outside. But uh, this is not very handy or very good in most of the cases so make sure to use the offset path for this and what is offset path is actually uh, used for if I have uh, one circle over here and one more circle over here uh, I will just make one offset path for this like this and I will expand this and I will 
select these both and we'll do minus back so this is where we just get the offset path and there are many many uh, examples in my videos and uh, you can just uh, see on the screen the videos that is uh, that uses the offset path function so you can just uh, see the examples as well and the other features in the this panel is uh, path path finder extrude this is the same thing described in the rasterize is also described and stylize is a new feature over here so what does stylize do i will just make another video about this uh, for the stylus options and the effect gallery options in the next video thank you very much for watching i hope this has been informative and make sure to just uh, go through all of the videos from the course so you can just uh, know all the details about the adobe illustrator and once you know the details and every tool in adobe illustrator you just you are just qualified for the uh, term graphic designer and you can just uh, do anything in this um, adobe illustrator software uh, have a good day bye bye